Good morning, this is Lisa Sanderson with UFI Physics Extension in Sumter County. I'm the Residential Horticulture Extension Agent. Today I'm here to share Let's Talk Gardening Propagation 1, which is actually today seed propagation. So I'm here at the UFI Physics Extension Sumter County Demonstration Garden, and we're going to use one of the raised beds to demonstrate uh, sowing seed so that you are able to sow seed in your own garden. Okay, so one thing you may notice about the bed is that there are uh, the soil that's in there is actually a potting media. Uh, and so in a traditional garden or in a raised bed garden, uh, some of the things are important, including the amount of sun the plants get. Uh, so any kind of uh, vegetable crop, for example, that you're sowing seeds for, uh, once they grow, they're going to need to have anywhere from five to six hours of sun. So eventually this bed will have that kind of sun. The other thing that's important is when you look at this, you can see there is a watering head in there which uh, will provide regular watering. And so while the soil is moist right now, uh, as probably mentioned, it will need to be irrigated. And so regularly will come through, uh, depending on how much rain we get uh, during the summer, uh, getting some consistent moisture. And it's particularly important when you sow seed that your seed has enough water to germinate. Uh, so sometimes if you don't give the seed that you've sown enough water, your seed may initially start to germinate but never finishes the job. So when you think that maybe the seed has failed, it may actually just be the fact that it did not get enough water to do what it needed to do. So water is needed to break the seed coat um, and then have the embryo or the small seed on the inside actually have enough water to put down its initial root and start to grow up with its leaves. And so that's something that is also important. All right, so here is the Blue Lake uh, bean seeds, which I'll be sowing. And then I also brought with me a dibble. Um, and so this is a dibble that was given to me when uh, teaching a Master Gardener class. And uh, one of the Master Gardeners had made it for all the people who were speakers, which is really awesome. Um, so I've had this for many years. Uh, but you can see the marks in it. So that first mark is half an inch, second mark is an inch, third mark is an inch and a half. So we don't want to go any farther than that third line down from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few holes in here so we can go ahead and plant some of this seed. So we've got that. And then I'm actually gonna drop about two seeds in each one of these holes. And the reason is, is because sometimes you have seed that doesn't germinate the way that it is supposed to. And you wanna make sure something germinates in the hole that you've planted. Then I'm just gonna cover that up with soil. Um, and when I am done with this later today, I will end up running irrigation, although the soil is very moist from the rain that we've just had. Now ideally, when you're sowing the cucumbers, you're gonna wanna, if you look at the this right here, you're supposed to have mounds here. And obviously I've mounded up a little bit in that area, but really not what we typically do for cucumbers. But with this raised bed, I'm gonna try and do it that way. In a traditional garden, you may have individual mounds. Um, very often with cucumbers, you're gonna wanna have something to tie them to, depending on, on which plant you're using. But that's why I have this trellis here so that they're not sprawling all over the, the bush beans, which will, um, we will finish sowing in this whole area. All right, so we're gonna take a look at these bean seeds. So this is a Blue Lake 274, which is similar to a regular Blue Lake uh, bean. It's, I'm not saying go out and buy Fairy Morris. Um, it's just what I happen to have available. Uh, but these are a it says no staking needed and days to harvest are 55. So the no staking needed means that it is a, a bush bean, which means it's not something that's gonna grow up a pole, and days to harvest is 55. So just under two months, you should have beans that you can harvest off of this particular bean plant. Now, the other thing you wanna look at is it, well, I told you on the front how, how many seed and grams there are in here. The other thing you want to look for is maybe a description of what the plant's going to be. So vigorous, many-branched bush plants, 
produce heavy yields of pods similar in appearance to pole blue lake. So we have a bush blue lake. This, there is also the pole blue lake, which means you'd have to have supports for that. Favor of um, the six and a half inch round pods is excellent. It's disease tolerant and high in vitamins A, B, and C. All right, so it talks about planting instructions. Um, I think that we're fine in terms of soil warmth. So it says, sow seed when soil is warm and danger of frost is passed. So we're definitely there. Um, ideally for beans, when you sow them, you want to sow them when the soil temperature is around 70. Um, and I think we're going to be fine here. It notes that you could soak seeds overnight before planting uh, and that'll speed germination, which you can do. After you've planted them, this is something that people have problems with, is you've got to thin to one plant every four inches. If you don't do that, you have two plants trying to come up in a hole, which is uh, what I have sown in the garden. I did put two per hole, but that's to make sure that one germinates. If you have both germinate, you really only want one plant to grow in that space. So you're going to want to make sure you thin that out. Um, you have to also if you're using the seeds that you're sowing for a vegetable, for example, like these, it says you need to pick early and often. That tends to happen with a lot of the things that you might produce in a vegetable garden or if you're doing an edible uh, landscape, any of those things that you're doing, you want to make sure that you pick your fruit often when it's ready because if for some reason you don't do that, you end up producing. Uh, it will slow production. You won't have as, as many beans off of these plants. So, and the other thing too is that you can also sow plants every two weeks until eight weeks before frost. So that means that you could actually um, grow these uh, for quite a long period of time until we have our frost. Um, you want to avoid working soil around the beans when it's wet, so this may spread disease. And so weeding, you can hoe gently because beans are shallow rooted. Um, so they're giving you some tips on how you can actually do that. So it's nice when you read a packet and it gives you that information. Um, and so here, we, I think we've read this before, but we'll read it again. So the days of germination is six to eight. Tells you what the planting depth is. And so all seed packets should give you an idea of this if you're doing vegetables, and I'll see if I can find some flower um, seeds to show that to you too. Um, but days to harvest is 55, uh, and then we talked about the fact that planting um, spacing is 20 inches. And uh, for the rows, if you're planting a traditional vegetable garden, and then four inches apart for plants. The other thing you also want to note, and, and this is something that is very difficult to see sometimes, is that when you want to sow things, this says you could sow these from March until August. So you actually, for, for our state, um, and, and then I've got some cool season vegetables which obviously have different months on them. So make sure you read the seed packet to get the information that you need off of this. Now the thing that I think is important also is that whenever you're looking at a seed that you wanna buy, regardless of whether you're looking at vegetable plants or seeds uh, for flowers whatever you want to sow the seed package you buy it's best to buy things that are uh, viable and will germinate so you'll have a higher germination rate if you buy the seed for the current year so this was sell by december 20th it was packed for 2020 so that's something you want to make sure you're checking out very often if you're buying things from stores they will pull seed that is no longer uh, in the date um, that you're looking for. So uh, the other thing too is if you end up being a person that saves your seed, you may want to um, make sure that you are uh, perhaps refrigerating it.